What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode in the series where we're making an FPS in Unreal Engine 4. Uh, currently we've got a decent amount of progress. We've got first person and third person. We can pick up objects in first and third person and uh, have multiple objects. Our equipment isn't the best. We've got a small little inventory with equipment and inventory. It's not fully flushed out, you know. We've got some things going, but you know, um, one thing that many people have noticed is that if our weapons are close to each other when we're trying to pick them up. Let me just put these two close to each other. Hold on, sorry about that. I grabbed that the wrong way. Let's put these closer to each other. Um, now, if I walk up, we've got this line trace, right? We can see this red dot, uh, and we can also see the line when we're in third person. And what that does is shows us what we're aiming at and that we're actually hitting something. This is just for development purposes. This isn't what I would at all want in, in the actual final game. This is just to know that our stuff is working. Well, if I press E to pick it up, and I look at the other gun, well, I can't pick it up anymore in first person or in third person. Uh, get closer, none of that, right? Okay, and if, if, if I just hit E on it, no, I'm looking at it, no? Okay, so if I walk away, though, and I come back, the line trace comes back up. And basically, what's happening is, uh, let's see here. Let me go into my player. We can go to player characters, our blueprint, open this up here. And what's happening is the way we're detecting our collision, pickup line trace collision, is we're basically saying, you know, once it's overlapped, just tell the the player that we want to do that line trace, and then, then that code gets called, and we, we're able to pick it up, all that other garbage. But this is really what's important, because then, uh, no matter how many items around it agree that yes oh we should all do the line trace there's only one variable here and this doesn't necessarily know that there's multiple items what's happening is it's just saying oh this is getting triggered multiple times and it's just getting set to yes again it doesn't care that it already is yes this is just what we're telling it to do and then when we pick up our weapon and disable its collisions and everything the collision goes away so the end overlap gets triggered and it just says no we don't need to line trace and it doesn't care about everything all the other items that are around it because they have already set this once they're not going to continually tick and check this to be true it's a, it's a one time deal right so we need to kind of monitor how many items we're standing around and i've got a pretty simple solution for this i'm just going to extend our comment section here cuz we're going to want that i'm going to go to my variables add a variable called number of uh, nearby items and I'm going to make it an integer I'm gonna alt click drag it uh, and connect it here so that way we can set it and what I'm gonna do is set it I could increment it but I'm, I'm just gonna do it as so get number of nearby items and we're just gonna add one. So every time it gets triggered, that means we've walked by a new item that is an object master that we can interact with or pick up and that we'll want to have that line trace active for, right? Even if we interact with something else and activate that and pick it up or activate the light switch or whatever it may be, we want whatever else we look at to also stay registered as, as uh, being line traced. Um, so we're adding this. And so we need to now verify how many we have when we're trying to disable the line trace. And this is pretty simple. We're just going to do a branch here. Yes or no question. Is number of nearby items less than or equal to 1? That's it. Because if there's only one item we can interact with nearby and you know of course a light switch we're not going to pick up so it's always going to overlap it's going to stay overlapped it's not going to uh the collision won't disappear when we interact with it so it's not going to end the collision and until we walk away from it but an item that we can pick up with like a coin or a you know a basketball a gun whatever it is when we do pick that up you know we disable those collisions so they don't mess with our character then that collision goes away and the end overlap gets triggered so we want to make sure that it is either the last item or if it's not the last item we do not set line trace to false we're just going to do nothing so let's see how this turns out 
we're gonna play and before if you guys remember you can rewind in the video there these were not able to be picked up by standing at well let's let's redo that shall we these weren't able to be picked up by uh, standing next to them for the first time so I'm gonna look at this one and hit E and then look at the other one and I still have a line trace and I can hit E and I've picked it up I didn't have to walk away uh, I would, we don't have that set up to be in our equipment yet, but I didn't have to walk away uh, or any of that. I could just stand right by it. And here, let me uh, let me duplicate these, just so that way we can verify I can look at all these. And then what I'll do is I'll disable the code, just so you can see. So yep, I can pick that up and that one and that one. Yep, I can pick them all up. Great. So let's go back and just disable that code, just to prove that this is this is what it does here. We'll just disable that and reconnect that back like it was. And around these four guns, I only get to pick one. I can't pick up any of the others. I gotta walk away and walk back. So there's your little solution. You're basically just temporarily keeping track. I mean, kind of permanently, but you're just keeping track real quick of how many items there are. Um, and then we really just need to reset them to zero whenever we uh, walk away from them. So let's reconnect our branch and right after it and the false, we will set number of nearby items to be number of nearby items minus one. And then at the end of the uh, true, we can just actually have that loop right back down to here. So then we will see Oh, if it wants to play here, come on. We can we can look at all four and register them. One, two, three, four, and then we're back. We're set back to zero. So that way, if we if we had just done this uh, without subtracting the number of nearby items, it would have just gone up and up and up, and we would have had the line trace going all the time, and it wouldn't have remove turn the line trace off when we actually weren't by anything that we can interact with and that would have just run extra code uh, that didn't need to be running for performance reasons and you know that's one of those things that it's hard to keep in mind while you're in the moment you're like oh we can just like add the functionality this that and the other and it works but sometimes there's those certain details that uh, really should be forgot about or left out if they don't if they heavily affect the performance and if we're not using them so it's just one of those things but that should be the fix to that if it doesn't work for you do let me know and if you don't know what this is from check out the series in the playlist description or in the i card and uh, you can uh, check out the series where we make all these features and have firing modes and uh, multiple weapons and uh, weapon switching well at least i thought i had weapon switching <laughs> okay whatever um, oh, yeah, and dropping weapons, that too. Anyways, well, thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a good one.